Tano, take control of your life. One of the things I recognize um, is a lot of the problems out there are focused on things that have already happened for people. And then you've got other people that are concerned about what if it happens to me. A lot of this is around recognizing potential pitfalls and issues that can come along. So what you need to do is actually start giving yourself goals and projects to work towards and direction. Um, a lot of the stuff, if you're especially younger, they, you get locked into bad relationships, emotional relationships, teenage pregnancies, whatever, because there's a lack of direction there. Um, I know myself, going back years, that when you're, I mean, I was studying at college, but I was still working, that your focus is only on this year because you're, you're at college, you're still working on it, you're still young, you're not focused on, like I was saying, going travel instead, which is what I should have done. Um, you're focused on pub on a Friday night, going, going out clubbing with the mates, that sort of stuff. Just eat your money away, and by the following week, you've got no money again. Same with having a car. If you don't need a car, don't have one. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's just a drain on your finances. Um, I mean, the, the, the thing I have with the companies I work with, I get company car most of the time. So for me, having a car is actually beneficial um, from them. Although I get taxed on it, there, there is swings and roundabouts on that to my advantage anyway. Um, but the I do avoid having a car, although I have one in Spain, it's because we need one here. Uh, that's... That's one of the things we're having kids. Um, but I do recognize that people need to take control of their lives and make their own decisions and focus on moving things forward. If you come out with a divorce, recognize what's going on now and recognize how you can move things in a better direction for yourself. Um, there is no point dwelling on it. At the end of the day, you're already... Um, gonna lose out on it let's face it but there is other things you can do um, and it, as some people have mentioned about investing in things like Bitcoin because Bitcoin's off the radar um, it, you know at the end of the day we want to try and do is recognize that um, you are pretty much on your own you do have the support of other people from MGTOW you have, you have other support from other people generally well, you have to understand that ultimately the goals need to be set by you and people can help you in that direction, but you need to be the decision maker. You need to focus where your life wants to go. If you want to travel, realize that if you, you need to start planning today, not leave it, well, I've got the car to pay, I'll, I'll worry about that one. So no, plan it today, get it on the wall doesn't have to have a date on it. It's just that you're recognizing this is the goals. And to get to that one, yes, you'll have to pay the car or for whatever. But at the same time, you need to get it on a chart, in a notebook, whatever, and start working towards it. Recognizing that if it's a debt problem, how are you going to deal with it? Move forward on it. Start moving some cash across. Start cutting your spending down. Start growing your own greens, whatever. You work towards making it work. Um, I do recommend absorbing a lot of information where you can as well. If you've got other people, on, not only in MGTOW, but uh, people that are promoting independence, self-sufficiency, all that sort of stuff, you're going to find a lot of it won't be relevant, but the bits that are relevant can be very useful long term. So I do recommend taking a look at that stuff as well and absorb it as much as possible because you will find something that can work. It's, it's like... You see these ebooks, like a hundred jobs that you can start in your row, and there's things like, oh, you can make little plaques for new housing estates because they don't have numbers on the, the houses and stuff. Little things like that it may sound stupid, but it, like here in Spain, you could probably get away with creating a little job doing that, pottering around, doing window cleaning, moving furniture around. I mean, one of the things I was thinking the other day is I see the big problem I have is because there's four of us. I can't have a van because most vans have three seats. Um, but if I had access to a vehicle with four seats, a little van would have been very useful um, because I could pop her around taking people's stuff from the furniture shops and all that sort of stuff. There is always people asking for it.
there is a market for it and a lot of time they want rid of furniture well I'll tell you what you take the furniture they'll pay you to remove it and take it to the skip you take it from here and stick it in the auction um, reality is you look at the opportunities you find the opportunities there is plenty around and here in Spain most of it you have to be independent in creating the opportunity yourself especially if you're limited on your Spanish but at the same time they are there um, teaching English online there's an opportunity that helps to travel but also helps pay your credit card debt, uh, debts and other things there is plenty of things around and it doesn't have to be a full-time job even doing five hours a week teaching English could be fifty dollars a week which is going to be two hundred dollars a month that's two hundred dollars off your credit card and it's not tiring you out because you're not working a second full-time job you're just spending a couple of evenings chatting to somebody online or having somebody around your house it's not difficult stuff but it all starts with recognizing you've got to get the wheels turning if you sit stagnant things will stay stagnant nobody's going to push it there is nobody going to come up behind you there's no mr motivator that's going to get come on let's go let's move let's move you've got to do it yourself but there is plenty of people to reach out to. There's plenty of people to talk to. I mean, myself, I'm approachable, um, but I, um, I've got to admit, I do get a lot of emails these days. Um, but ultimately, I will help anyone I can and where I can. Um, I do recognize that there is a lot of social problems out there. And one of the things I did stress on this relating to the MGTOW stuff, I'm not going to focus too much on the horrors of divorce or the, the problems relating to the outcomes of those things but focus on how we can fix them and part of that is actually recognizing even if you're getting hammered with them taking as much money off you as you can there is plenty of stuff out there to generate other income they can't see there's nothing wrong with that that's just being smart um, so don't assume that you have to roll over all the time you don't there is, there is nothing that says you must do that because let's face it a, a lot of these people that dictate this stuff to you if they're in the same boat, do you think they would do it? It's a bit like the tax man. The tax man plays cat and mouse for the rich people. Um, it, they tell us to be subservient and just roll over and pay everything that we owe plus a little bit extra because we, we're worried about them chasing us. While the rich turn around and avoid it and may end up with uh, a year in jail for tax evasion, but they forget that they've already embezzled millions and a year in jail doesn't seem that bad in comparison when it comes to the money. Um, but ultimately, you're in control. You can push yourself forward, and I highly recommend you do. Thanks for watching.